Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Product in Focus. So I guess the biggest news of the weekend was the fact that China has uh, cut rates for the third time in six months, which has given a shot in the arm to most global uh, equity markets, especially those over in Asia. Um, today and uh, Friday ended quite well for the US because non-farm payrolls came in marginally ahead of expectations. So uh, they had revi revised down the previous month, which was already abysmal, uh, to about 85,000 down from 123. Um, but the market has still cheered that as quite a positive sign and we actually have one of the best closes that we've had um, well, not the best ever but one of the best ones that we've ever had so far now it's a little bit flat to start off the morning on the interday charts it's been completely flat in fact but uh, 18,112 is the potential support level which is the broken tip of December uh, and that might be an interesting point for those of you that are looking for either a springboard for the next move higher or if you believe that the move has been overdone but certainly we're trading above both moving averages the other technicals are neutral uh, so there could be a little bit extra room for maneuver but uh, from what I'm seeing in the day charts is it's just consolidating currently so moving on to UK 100 obviously strong hammer formation there following the election result <coughs> great end to Friday there as well closing above both moving averages almost got a, a, a bullish cross there on the MACD um, but we've kind of stopped flat now and bouncing around D21 period SMA. Moving on to Japan 225, um, it's managed to survive. Um, it's not broken and closed below that trend line yet. Um, 21 period SMA potentially providing a little bit of uh, short term resistance. Longer term potential resistance 20,087. We've almost got a crossover uh, with a declining uh, negative MACD histogram right here as well and the other technicals are relatively neutral so um, this does look a little bit top heavy this could actually be a head and shoulders formation right here you got the shoulder the neck and the shoulder the neckline's a little bit squint incidentally but um, that would all coincide quite nicely for if we do get that break off the upwards trend line that would open up 18,648 moving on to dollar yen <coughs> dollar yen as ever is still hovering right about 119 11990 actually in fact right now um, getting squeezed between these two moving averages. Other technicals are completely neutral. Nothing else to talk about uh, in regards to dollar yen. The USD has gained a little bit of momentum following non farm payrolls, uh, but nothing that spectacular, to be honest. Um, moving on to West Texas crude. Uh, not doing a huge amount today either. I had a positive day on Friday. It's eking out a very small gain today, but 59.50 could be the potential um, resistance level, and that's that has been in place for well, all the way back in 2013, I think. Um, so it gives you a bit of an idea of where we are. We obviously have been above there before, but we do have this doji formation that we had there last Wednesday, um, which doesn't look look like it's going to be broken immediately either. So moving on to gold, uh, gold flattening out around about 1186, uh, consolidating around here, moving averages drifting down, MACD flat, although the technical is completely neutral. Um, I don't think there's going to be a particular breakout in either direction of gold for a little while, with a top, um, a top of pressure here just slowly just grinding it down and pushing it down there as well so finishing up with your dollar and gbp usd with uh your dollar you can see we've got uh, three declining candles one spot 11 as a potential support level um we've been quite volatile last couple of sessions but the dollar has uh, managed to gain a little bit of momentum at the expense of the euro as well so we've also got this um, golden cross in the moving averages the technicals are, are however massively overbought have given signals to sell but we have had a little bit of a, uh, of a jump around about 111 so that will be a level to be aware of as well and then finishing up with gbp um great set, great end on friday trading above one spot 54 24 just now uh, which was broken resistance now expected to reverse and become new support technicals are of course overbought but that's not surprising after the movements that we've seen it's a lot of fundamental factors obviously hitting uh, cable right now so this is a level to watch one spot 54 24 so i can look data wise we've got um industry announcement in the uk today that's probably not going to be any different from uh, from usual fast forward on to tuesday oh, we actually don't have a huge amount uh, let's go into wednesday and then you've got a uh, german cpi um, German GDP and um, you've got employment uh, data from the UK and then GDP from the Eurozone and industrial production retail sales in the US and obviously petroleum sales so Wednesday is actually the day when you've got a whole bunch of stuff happening and going on so as ever make uh, keep your eye on the chart forum make insights part of your going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next